If a friend approached you and said they were struggling with same gender attraction, what would you tell them? Oh, golly goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know what I would tell them. Oh. Like, a close friend? Close friend. Hmm. Can't say I've ever had that before. How do you think the church should respond to someone who claims to be both gay and Christian? <laughs> that type of question. Meh. I mean, that's really just it. Just kind of. Um. Uh. Like anyone else? Love them? Accept them? In your opinion, what does it mean to love your neighbor if your neighbor is gay or lesbian? You know, I don't think it really... Gosh, how do I say that? Um... Mm. Oh no, I knew this was gonna be one of the questions. Honestly, I believe that uh, whether or not the neighbor is gay or lesbian is irrelevant to whether or not we should love them. I think the church should embrace them. We should still love them for who they are and that the Bible is very clear about what love means. I don't think anyone, anything would change. I don't know. That's I feel like. Um, yeah. Yeah. Is there anything you would say to them? Uh, probs. Hey, man. Whatever floats your boat. No, that's not what I would say. I probably, if it was a close friend of mine, I would probably be, you know, I'd probably just listen to them first. And then, gosh, man. Same gender attraction is a temptation that is like some people struggle with more than others. I don't think you should act on the temptation. Being homosexual is completely <laughs> fine. As I understand it's something they deal with and it's a sin they have. I'm a strong believer that God put homosexuality on earth as a challenge for us to really show that, you know, we are pretty sin like self-centered. Uh... Being a homosexual has always been difficult, but I think right now um, there's such a like, almost like a fiery hate towards them. I would probably say just don't be, like, afraid of what people will tell you. Don't be, like, um, not be afraid, but, like, be discouraged. I would encourage them to get help. Make sure they talk to someone more professional than myself. You should be able to consider that person for who they are and accept their belief. Uh, mainly getting past that first window of the fact that they choose to be gay or non-gay, but then looking at the fact that they are a Christian and a believer of Christ. It doesn't matter if they are gay, lesbian, um, different race, different ethnicity, different country, different religion, you need to love everyone. It is a legitimate temptation, like me struggling with pride or something, so I would want to support them. I feel they should be open to it, like the church should be really just more loving on them. Maybe not as open, maybe more open-minded. I would just tell them to pray about it <laughs> or something. Probably, uh, I'm going to be real honest with you. I probably wouldn't tell them to pray about it. <laughs> I would probably say, yeah, dude. I'm still your friend, so no biggie there. The Lord calls us to, to love our neighbor no matter who it is. Loving each other should be the most important thing. It depends on how you define love. If you define love as being something that you look for the best for them, and you do view homosexuality as being wrong, then there is a certain amount where you should tell them you think they're doing something wrong. I would tell my neighbor, hey, I don't think murdering is a good thing, and I would tell them to stop it. Although I admit that is an extreme example. I would ask them, okay, you're struggling with this, how are you dealing with it? Um, what is something I can do? How can I pray for you? Just pray with them and let them know that I support them in that and I realize they're struggling with something that's really hard. The fact that they believe in God and believe in the same Father as you should, is what should really matter. 
with my gay friends, you know, I really, um, really work to like listen to them and see where they're at and like mm. learn about life from their perspective. I think that's the hugest thing is to listen. I'm a human, so I don't know whether it's right or wrong to be gay. And really, I'm not going to put that much thought into it because I'm not going to say, God says this, because what if I'm wrong? I'm speaking for God. You gotta have a really good voice to speak for God. I wouldn't support them in acting in the temptation because I think it's a sin. Uh, like Jesus. We're all humans and we all have our own um, identities. The number one, one of the priorities that we were told to obey was to love your neighbor. So with full love is how I think the church should respond. The one thing which should be said and which I hope everybody accepts as it is, is that if you do things to somebody that are wrong because the person is gay or homosexual or whatever, that's bad. Please don't do that. No matter which side of the issue, if somebody disagrees with you, mistreating them is not good. Don't do it. Please. If we really do truly love people, then like, why not love someone that's homosexual? Uh, maybe you should look into that a little bit more, do some research. Uh, ask some elders or something. Something, something like that. <laughs> Love them anyways! And, well, that's pretty much it. Deal with it. Now go! Shoo! Run! Flee!